life has been super weird for me lately. talk about signs and how nothing in this world is a coincidence just because that's all I've been experiencing this week so part of the big thing with like signs messages from the universe <sighs> nothing is a coincidence nothing in this world is a coincidence guys okay Everything happens for a reason. Everything has like its own karmic message to teach you. And something that we don't really take into consideration is that I talk about this on some of my other videos. The uh, YouTube, the internet in general, the algorithms, all of that is connected to the spirit realm. And in a sense, what it does is likeness attracts likeness. So it kind of goes along with like the law of attraction, especially like with karmic signs and even like advertisements and stuff like that. Like you attract things that are akin to your ego. Sometimes they're not always signs. That's something you also have to consider. Not everything is a sign from the universe, but when your instincts tell you it's a sign and you're sitting there like thinking about something at that moment and then something happens I can guarantee you it's probably a sign and you know if you're like unsure about it the universe sends you multiple signs sometimes especially if it because the universe is going to know that you're not sure it's going to be like nudging at you nudging at you and then you won't be paying attention and it'll keep sending these signs and these signs and then you'll ask for clarification finally after the hundredth time of them sending you the same exact message anyway but like it happens we get distracted by life and we miss out on opportunities sometimes and we miss out on signs and signals sometimes we don't know what those signs or signals really mean it's it's up for us to interpret that and it's up for us to take what, what resonates with us individually because individually we're all going to have our own soul patterns not everything's going to resonate with us individually so that being said i'll just share i am um, i don't know who i was in a past life but i got some crazy crazy entities protecting me so apparently i was anointed the other day with cannabis oil still trying to figure out exactly what that means uh also had some crazy messages about uh how i'm possibly the son of god or have some type of esoteric connection with that with like me having that rainbow sword me finding that rainbow sword and just how i'm connected to everything here i don't know it's still strange to me but uh yeah i met this karmic couple who had a lot of common with me it's very strange they had a lot in common with me we had like the same vape pen except theirs was like opposite colors of mine and lots of different stuff they were definitely somebody i was supposed to talk to on my soul path but, like, the whole, I don't, it's weird because I made a video about cannabis, cannabosom, and anointing oil, and that having to do with Jesus. I made that video, you can go, go look at the link, I'll try to post it up here or something. Uh, yeah, but I talked about, like, anoint, anointing oil previously and then i i was also like during my the beginning of my awakening like months back in like april i had this like strange calling to the mountains for some reason like i knew i was supposed to go up to the mountains i didn't know why where when or what was going to happen but i knew i was supposed to go up there and so I, i've hung out with this couple i guess like twice now went to go hang out with them 
and we went up to the mountain and it wasn't even really that long of a walk but they got me super baked it was just so weird i won't explain that situation too much because i swear they were using some telepathy on me or something it was strange some psychic stuff it was really strange and we they it was weird because they carved this heart into the tree and then right after they did that it was like a random path too it was like way it wasn't even a real path and they showed me this tree that they carved their initials in a couple of times and then uh, he carves their initials again for this year and we continue walking and then i noticed more and more trees with carvings and hearts on them and initials and stuff like everywhere and then they show me these aspen trees. I don't know if y'all know anything about aspen trees, but they're pretty spiritual. They have every, they have a very strong connection with the spirit realm. And they were very prominent and they were really wanting me to see these aspen trees. And her son's name is Aspen too. I'm gonna put this together later in my brain watch. After I make this video, it's gonna start making more sense to me. Anyway. Oh, why will and then while we were driving, I'll post a picture of there's a man and a woman falling from the sky. It was these giant clouds and it was prominent. This picture right here does not do it justice. I am telling you, it was a man and a woman falling from the sky, these two giant clouds. And then right after I took a picture of that, her son gets all excited and is like, look, it's a baby. And there was this giant cloud up in the sky. It was, a, it was a baby upside down. And then she was also listening to this radio station and it was like 7, it was like 740 or something like that. I don't know. I looked up, I looked it up in like numerology and what it meant was uh, fa family is all that matters. I'm still trying to decipher this message too because I'm still trying to know that it's part of my test <sighs> and I'm supposed to figure out what exactly it means I feel like this right here is the ultimate test I don't know it's weird I'm trying to be calm about it <sighs> because they're also telling me that everything's gonna work out but it's still a weird message and then I got some weird some other weird messages the other day too there was more on that path too, but I won't really talk about some of those messages because it probably wouldn't, it wouldn't really make sense to you because it's just random and weird. However, with some of the other signs that I've been receiving, like I went on this cool, like I've been flustered since that happened, right? I was flustered after that happened because it was just so weird and the whole situation had me really drained. Like, I felt really tired after I, like, got back from this walk. And I tell you, we were not walking that long. I was really baked, and we were walking up a mountain. So, I mean, I guess that could have been it. But I am telling you, there was some psychic stuff going on. Because I felt like somebody was in my head. And then after, they even mentioned, too, because I was, like, sitting there thinking, what if these people can hear what I'm thinking? And then later on, while we're walking back towards the car... I don't know they were just kind of joking around but she says something in response to him but he didn't say anything but she said something in response to him and then they kind of like giggle and she's like oh we do that sometimes we speak telepathically and like, like almost like literally after I said that in my brain about them maybe being able to hear me and it was just weird super weird that's not even the weirdest thing. Uh, I won't get into too much detail about whatever happened the other day, but I was going on this spiritual journey with my bestie from back in the day. And she just kind of was like, well, I kind of have a calling. Do you want to go to the Hamas? And I was like, yeah, it's kind of weird because I kind of wanted to go to Hamas. We didn't end up going to Hamas. We just kind of ended up driving, just going with the flow, which was nice. And we ended up right back at uh, the river where I usually meditate actually. And she's like, I just have a calling to stop right here. And so we stopped right there. We looked at the river. And we just kind of chilled and had a conversation and meditated. Then, 
I was talking about it because I just I recently deleted a lot of my like I deleted my Facebook I deleted my TikTok uh, I took down I think my Twitters as well I'm just kind of getting rid of a lot of things because I just don't find them useful uh, especially as far as like the content I feel like it's a little too uh, spread out and it's it was making it hard for me to focus and then I was also getting some weird vibes from online like about like psychological warfare and just uh, just perhaps getting mixed signals from different people and their energies so I just kind of tapped out of that because it felt really uh, like a psychological warfare type of thing so it felt imbalanced and that's that's really uh and then as well there was like uh it wasn't like gross men were sending me messages like they used to back in the day but i just uh i just got this bad vibe because i had like the 5,000 friends i didn't really even know i just added a bunch of people to spread much truth uh about everything going on with all this covid stuff and politics and shit so i deleted all of those accounts right after i got this sign because we were hanging out by the river me and my friend and i was talking to her about how i have this calling to like delete a lot of my accounts because it's just i'm just getting this feeling i've been fishing for like creepos and trying to delete them as they go but it just doesn't it didn't feel like it was enough plus there was other vibes that i was getting from other people that weren't really sitting great right with me so before i deleted it right we're like 15 minutes after i have this conversation we're sitting there by the river we get up and start walking back towards her car a jogger with a mask on i swear he was a non-playable character or something dude it was it was such a bizarre situation uh he was jogging and i think he looked back at us once and it was just me and my best friend two girls and i see his butt yeah his butt was hanging out and it went really south from there it went way worse yeah he was uh, doing something he really wasn't supposed to in front of women he yeah Luckily, my friend is smart. She's like, yo, I got a concealed carry. <sighs> Little does he know I could shoot him and I'm the law. Something like that, she said. And he just fucking pulls his pants up. And, like He lays down on the ground and starts doing it too. It's fucking weird. It was such a weird situation. I know it was a message from the universe because it literally happened right after I was talking about creepos on the internet. And then a creepo happens in real life. I don't know. And then she since she she kind of talks to me. She mellows me out. Because that caught me off guard. I was like freaked out. I was ready to stab some motherfuckers. Seriously, dude. I don't put up. I'm from Budake. I don't put up with shit like that. That's, that was weird. And it's never happened to me before. Like, I've dealt with creepos. And I've, I've been chased before. In, into a restaurant by some drunk dude. I've, uh... Yeah. <sighs> All kinds of different stuff I've gotten I've been in some situations but that was just weird as fuck and it was definitely a message and so that's why I'm not on I'm not on social media anymore uh, it was definitely a calling to get off I don't know eventually I may find some other better type of way to attract abundance and marketing and market myself a little bit better so people can you know get this content but I don't know I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do that first because that just made me super uncomfortable it wasn't even just that there was other things too but that was just kind of like you know the icing on the cake the cherry on top wasn't having it anymore plus i felt really distracted like my my energy was getting pulled into too many different directions and that was also causing me a lot of conflict eventually i'll figure out a way to market better through social media and stuff as for now y'all can you know you can still hit me up i think I, I still have instagram up i'll still have instagram for some reason i just like 
there's like a lot of artists on there. I have I have Instagram, obviously my YouTube, and my website. I'm gonna focus more on my website building and then writing my book, Spiritual Possibilities. I was gonna write that as well. So I'm gonna be focusing more on that. Um, and the Twitch end. So if you guys want to like be around while I'm working and hang out with me while I'm working And if you have any questions and stuff, I can answer them there directly live on twitch uh, TV slash spiritual underscore And that links under there in the description under the video as well So if you guys want to you know hang out with me and ask some like spiritual questions or any type of things about my life or any type of questions you might have about your own life and your soul pattern and your soul path, I'll definitely help you there. But yeah, as far as like signs and you know, nothing, nothing is a coincidence, everything happens for a reason. Like, I could go on and on and on about that because this week has been really wild for me. Like, even like through music on YouTube, I've been having some really crazy algorithms. Just telling me these really wild messages confirming things about myself that um, I'm still trying to figure out. But it's weird. But you also have to consider, like, you know, whether they be a positive or a negative message, it's something that you definitely need to resonate with and, and try to try to understand and figure out. Because I am telling you, it's the universe is tapping on your shoulder for a reason. So think about possibilities, uh, ask for clarification, meditate, and ask for clarification from the universe, and I will guarantee you it's going to show you stuff. It's going to pop up like on your TV, it's going to pop up in your music, it's going to pop up on like geometria, it's going to pop up in numerology when you're thinking about certain things at certain times, it's going to follow you around, I promise you. So just tap into that energy and, you know, ask, like, meditate if you're not sure of the message. Because I get them all the time and I am, one, I'm stubborn. And two, I'm just like, mm, are you guys sure about all this? And then sometimes you get mixed messages too from the universe. That's something you also have to consider because, you know, we all have energies that we send out into the universe. And some energies just aren't compatible with others. And that's, you know, it's just a frequency type of thing you have to consider. So sometimes you might be getting the wrong type of messages from the wrong type of people. Just think about those types of things. See what resonates in your own heart and your own soul. Because that's what matters. Look within yourself, not within others. Think about that one, okay? Y'all have a good one. I'm going to go because there's ants crawling on me everywhere. Hit that like, subscribe button, comment if you have, have any questions about signs. And I will be on later tonight on Twitch if you guys want to chill with me. Link in the description. Peace.